Good morning. <laughs> Today's video is just going to be like a little chatty, drink coffee with us type video. We're just going to talk about like random life stuff and yeah. Welcome just... to the morning brews. Yes. That's what I call it. So my Starbucks order is today and usually a brown sugar shake and espresso. I either get it iced or hot, but um, today I got it iced because it's nice. And then, as always, cold brew, always. black coffee. What's cool is I actually just made a TikTok on Starbucks coffee. Yeah. Saying how it's the best and that is factual. We can all agree. I, I, I have to agree. <laughs> yeah. And I have not discovered a coffee that is better than Starbucks. Plus the brown if sugar If you have, syrup, oh my God. Uh, let me know in the comments and I'm gonna have to go give it a try, even if it's all the way in Washington. <laughs> we kinda wanna talk about like... Sorry if it like, gets a little loud. Uh, there is a guy mowing. Yeah, That's we're at the park. Right over there. So we're in like a cute little gazebo. It's nice to be outside. Yeah, it is. Filming for once. But we kinda wanted to just like talk about like our goals and like not just our goals, but like kind of how we've come to the realization just life. like yeah like I just quit my job um, not my profession but I did quit my salon that I was working at and um, I'm gonna be booth rental now which means I can like essentially work for myself like I choose my hours my prices my products I like have full creative freedom and like control over everything and it just really got us thinking like his job he works hourly yeah and it's just so crazy how it's like when you work hourly like when you trade like your time for money that's how you get paid like how much time you put in it's so crazy how like you you you're always gonna make a set amount you mm -hmm. know what I mean unless you work like every day of the week or you pull like hella overtime right but then if you pull hella overtime you get a lot of taxes out. and honestly and that you know that that's just too much thinking when it comes to if you're trying to make mon more money and uh, the thing that pops in your mind is, oh, let's get more overtime. Well, that requires more time of your life. Yeah. So, yet, there's another uh, form of creativity out of the window. Out the window yeah. You know what I mean? You know, we live in a capitalist society, so I feel like an hourly wage is uh, now a thing of the past, and we're in new times where everything is more expensive. So it requires a form of creativity from us to figure out how to make more money, uh, not by an hourly wage, you know? Yeah. So I think that's why we're going to see more entrepreneurships in our times and uh, just more control. You know, yeah. that's one thing about the new generation too, like us young people, is we like our freedom and we want to be able to do the things we want to do when we want it and yeah. how we want it. And I think, especially for her, switching to, uh, you know, booth rent. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's really cool. Yeah. And that really showed me a lot about how, uh, you know, things work. And you know, you can see somebody do it online. Uh, how, you know, like entrepreneurship. You could see that kind of stuff online. But to see something like what she's doing, like actually in person, seeing her do it, yeah. it's it's a lot different. So. So yeah. many things go into it that I didn't realize. Like, really, it, it's cool now because, like, when you do a job where you're, like, self-employed or, you know, you own a business or, like, whatever, basically, like, a salary job, a commission job, it's really, like, you, what you put into it, you get out. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. really cool. And I love, we always talk about this, too, like, our generation is changing so many things. Like, we're not going to work for shit wages anymore, especially not at shit jobs. Like, yeah. we're not going to work at shit jobs. We're not going to work for shit wages. And I think that's what we're seeing right now. A lot of people, they're like, nobody wants to work. Well, no, it's really nobody wants to work for the shit wages that you have to offer. Exactly. And the conditions. Like, like the conditions of, uh, like, the work environment people are now speaking up about. And nobody wants to uh, settle for that. Which is really good. Yeah. I think it's an improvement. So yeah. I think I think companies are forced to really improve the work environment and the wages have to go up because if the cost of living goes up and the wages don't go up then there's a big imbalance there that is uh, and that, that's why we're hearing a lot of noise 
Yeah. And we're seeing a lot of different things we've never seen before. Mm -hmm. So. But oh. yeah. <clears throat> but like I know for me and Logan, like I would love to like already I can like feel my passion for hair like coming back, you know? Which is nice. Because I spent money and I went to school. Right. But it's nice. I would I love to do that, but it's like we don't wanna make like our living off of just like one thing you know mm -hmm. like we have so many different routes that we want to go like i want to be a hairstylist because i love doing hair i want to get like certified in extensions because i want to do those but we would love to do youtube because it's literally like getting paid to journal your you're, life you're documenting your life yeah in a way. and i know he would love to do like stuff from fitness and like coach yeah. people and meal mm -hmm. plans and all these things i would love to work with all kinds of brands you know, mm -hmm. to yeah. branch out. The things that I use in my daily, my, my you know, my daily life, I'd love yeah. to collaborate with all kinds of brands. <clears throat> because I know the things that I use, a lot of people around us do not use. Yeah. And if we can show people online, you know, the qualities of, you know, right. different things that we use, I think it's, you know, things that are better for the planet. Yeah. You know, things that are just generally better for you. Yeah. So, He's so, shaking yeah. the camera. Sorry. <laughs> You're shaking the table. Uh, eventually, if we get enough money, which I'm confident that we will, uh, we would also love to like invest in real estate in some way. That would be nice. Yeah. But that's like pretty far down the mm -hmm. road. Yeah. These I are just, just things you know, that we think about right. a lot, and we've noticed that. I held on at my job for so long because I think as humans we naturally, even when we're in like a toxic situation, you know, whatever that may be, a job you hate, a relationship that's not benefiting you, whatever it may be, we as humans like just hold out this hope that things will get better, you know, and I think at some point, they, they can, it's not saying that they won't ever, but at some point you have to just realize that if you've done everything you can do and the situation is not changing, that the situation is just toxic, it's not going to change, and then your only other option at that point is to leave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just in the, so it'll be two weeks tomorrow since I quit my job, and the joy and like the peace that I have felt in this last two weeks has been more than I felt in the past year at my salon. Mm -hmm. You know, I was under so much stress, and it's like I don't have any stress, and he's took this week off currently because I'm going to my new job next Tuesday and he's going back to work next Tuesday and even in a few days you've said that you just feel like so good so energized refreshed there's dogs over there yeah there's a dog there's park. a there's a dog park. there's a lot of dogs did I know <laughs> but anyways yeah yeah you feel good not being at work oh yeah for sure because you know i think uh obviously what i do for a living i don't know if i've ever mentioned this but i work at a hotel i, I serve food and well, I, I do a lot more than that but uh if you're not doing your passion you're really taking away your creativity mm -hmm. i feel like uh, i could be wrong that's just the way i feel personally and I think you have to put yourself in a situation to where you can uh, really gain control of your own life. And sometimes you have to, you know, do things that you don't want to do. And also, at the same time, uh, sometimes not doing what you love pushes you harder to do what you want to do. Uh, yeah. when you're not doing what you want you know what I mean yeah. sometimes you have to do both so that way one day uh, you can leave behind what you didn't like to do for a yeah. living and now yeah. work full-time on what you like to do and we can say like we do YouTube videos so like we've done a lot of filming this week because we both went off and we both say like it doesn't even feel like work like filming does not feel like work it's just something that we like to do and we really love to do together. That's why I'm glad we made a couples channel because we really do like to film together. Yeah, we like doing this. So it doesn't feel like work. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that goes back to uh, 
a lot of people were like, well, I like my job, you know. Yeah. But it's like, do you, like, okay, so let me ask you this. Uh, do you live for the weekends? Do you live for your days off? Yep. If you answer yes, then you're really not passionate about what you do because in my opinion, I feel like uh, as, you know, the type of work ethic I have, I am not excited to go to my... No. I have a good... Like, I show up every day, you know, like yeah. I'm supposed to, and I make the money that I need, but at the same time... Man, this table moves hella easy. Yeah. But I feel like... Until you know what you like to do, it really doesn't feel like work. Yeah. You know, it is work, but it doesn't feel like work. Yeah. And instead of living for the, your days off, you actually live for the days you work. But yeah, if this video is all over the place, it's just because we're literally just speaking our thoughts as we have them. This is just our morning brews. Yeah. This is, this is actually not, what like, we do. They're not structured this in is, any This way. is what we do at home most yeah, mornings for when real. we're together. This is, anyways, yeah. When we, when we have our coffees in the morning. We yeah. just drink our coffee. We talk about life. I, like yesterday, we had a whole like what, like thirty minute conversation with our coffees about like <laughs> how we're gonna be as parents and like stuff oh, yeah. like that. Oh yeah. 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 We literally do this at home. So. And the things that we want to change. The yeah. Things that we're working on currently. The things we want to improve. You yeah. know. Yeah. No, we just have a lot of goals, guys. We're just two young entrepreneurs. Yeah. And the beginning stages. And I didn't realize how much I didn't like working for other people until I literally quit my job. And now I'm like, oh, his sister's getting married in a few weeks. I don't have to ask anybody to take time off. Or like, if I want to go to the farmer's market on Saturday morning, I don't have to ask anybody. I can just allow yeah. myself to take that time off from right. work. Mm -hmm. And it's just so nice. Yeah, I think that's cool. It's so crazy because I feel like we were talking about this this morning earlier about like Mel Robbins, if you follow, don't follow her, you should, she's amazing. Mm. Uh, she posted a thing like feeling stuck versus burnout. I definitely had burnout, I feel like, but I did have moments where I felt like I was just stuck at this salon because I made such good money there. And I just felt like I wasn't gonna make that money anywhere else in my city that we live in. And so I felt stuck and it was like, it's just almost like time stood still and it's like every day was the same, mm -hmm. you know, same meaning I had to put up so much bullshit at work every day. Crazy ass people, stressful situations that totally could have been prevented and avoided. And, but for the most part I had burnout, like I had lost my passion for my job and what I literally went to school for and I wasn't excited to get up in the morning at all. And I know that you definitely currently have, like, that feeling stuck. Right. Mm -hmm. No, I do. And I've noticed, I've noticed more of it uh, having the week off. Yeah. You know? Yeah, when you have time off, you realize, like, it, it's just like a weight lifted off your shoulders. Right. You know, it's like when you're stuck and it's the rat race. You're in this cycle. Mm -hmm. And it's like when you slow down and you stop doing that routine that's really draining you and you really just reflect on yourself uh, then you really come you really come to yourself as a person and realize uh, that there needs to be a change and that you're not made oh for that oh my god what lauren albridge will suck your cock at 400 southeast rogers street tell him jeff sent you p.s she swallows what? <laughs> yeah, there's there's like a lot of graffiti behind the camera. Oh, cool! Damn, I thought this was a nice little gazebo. Oh my god! There's literally just right over here. There's, oh my god, pimps come here and they write things. That's crazy. What? Man. Oh my god. This is a pretty nice park too. <laughs> yeah, it's a children's park. <laughs> Oh my god. I was wondering, I was like, what do you see? I was looking for like a wasp or something. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I liked what we were talking about earlier about like, uh, uh, how people like shit jobs. Oh yeah. So, me and Logan just don't believe that that's necessary. Like, you know, people that work, like the greeters at Walmart, or like, the cashiers at Walmart. They're in like construction. Yeah. Like, hard labor. Hard labor, man. I, I just, I don't know if this is because me and Logan are such, like, we have such creative brains. 
like we're very create creative people like if you go and you find like your um What's it called? That yeah. quiz that we took. Oh yeah, the archetype. The archetype. We're both creatives. That's like what we have the highest thing in. Yeah, so, we took a test on yeah. which archetype and the archetype is, what does it mean? Archetype. Yeah. What does um, it mean? It's like it's, how... It's like, uh, 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 Fuck, I don't know. I can't, I can't remember. remember. We'll put like a little description up on the yeah. thingy. Um, but, uh, we're both creative people, so, um... To us, like, I'm sorry, I just feel like construction jobs, like, factory jobs, fast food, grocery store, like, those are just jobs that, like, I'm sorry, but I don't understand how any personality type can find joy and is actually passionate about those jobs. Yeah. And that just doesn't exist to me. Those are shit jobs, and those are jobs that are, that literally suppress creativity yeah. in people. Mm -hmm. Now, there is a time when those jobs do come in handy, and uh, that's usually the beginning stages. Yeah. You know what I mean? When yeah. you're When you're just really, when you don't have money and you're just figuring out life, something you have to almost, you know, right now especially. You have to have an income in some way. Yeah. Because, obviously, it's a capitalist society. If you don't have money in this world, you're fucked. <laughs> right. But you have I, to have money. I just, I don't see, the, like, those are like short-term jobs. Exactly, well. yeah. Those are jobs to get you on your feet and, like, get you to doing what you really want to do. They're, like, it's the process they kind of, of launch you. Right. Into... It's it's the process of what you're figuring out about yeah. yourself and yeah. what you want to do in life. You know how, like, people, like, a standard four-degree col four-year college. So going to college will set them into the career field that they want to go in that they get their, like, degree in, you know? I don't know why I put air quotes. Degrees are a real thing. Right. Um, but that's kind of what those jobs are to us. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's just what those jobs are to us. They're not like things that I would ever do for like. And you know, I yeah, and it's like. And I'm glad that we've realized this about ourselves at such a young age. Mm -hmm. And it's like you know, I could have like a conversation with somebody and say you know I just really don't like my job uh, and they're like oh well this place is hiring why don't you go work there well see that's the thing I feel like that's thinking too small yeah. going from the how I am as a person is those like they're just all shit jobs to me yeah, they are. unless I am doing something like what I'm passionate about going and working at a warehouse three nights four nights a week that's just that's you, you think that's gonna fix my problem yeah you know what I mean I mean I don't care if I'm making 20 bucks an hour I feel like that's the thing we should be making like the hourly wage should be so high right now yeah and if you don't want to raise up the hourly wage then I feel like we should be getting paid per 30 minutes yeah I agree. you know what I mean mm -hmm. I agree like instead of per hour let's go you know what you 30 minute wage hour, yeah half hour wage yeah so, but it's just like, how I am is, uh, I, <clears throat> I know what I want to do, and that's why I'm sticking out with the job that I have. Because where I work, you know, they're very lenient on me taking time off. Yeah, they are. And if I have to leave early or if I come in late, that's, you yeah. know, that's the benefit of the job. It doesn't come with any kind of benefits, yeah. you know? So that's the benefit I take from the job. Mm -hmm. And also, it keeps me uncomfortable. So, it keeps me uncomfortable to remind me of uh, the mission I'm on. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 But yeah, we have a lot of goals that we want we to do. do. We do, for sure. We do. We love YouTube. And we would we love, love YouTube. We would love to continue this. And we would love to... We just want to show you guys our journey, really. Yeah. This is... This... Like, the, like, everything that we put on YouTube is just a document, uh, you know, the inside of a relationship and uh, what our lives look out and what's going to be projected. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. you guys will see everything. Yeah. So, yeah. I will say, like, it's nice that I left my job because I felt like I just let go of a lot of dead weight that wasn't doing anything for me. I felt like it was holding me back. So now I just, like, I've just had, like, this sense of, like, hope that I never really had before. Like, I feel so hopeful for 
us, like our relationship, me as a person, um, financial things. <laughs> um, I just, I feel like so, what's the word? I just feel like the happiest I've been in like a very long time. Yeah, I've noticed. Like I feel like things are looking up. Right, I've noticed, uh, you know. <sighs> yeah. Movement from you. Yeah. Which I like. I like to see that. Yeah. So. But that's pretty much it from us today. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you want more of these little coffee talks, um, tell us. If you don't, um, we're still going to do them. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're going to have different topics each time, and they might not mesh together and make sense, but these are totally like. Just raw, open, open conversations. Yeah, they're raw, unedited, like. Yeah. One day we'll do conversations we'll do live. like we would have with each other, and yeah, one, we don't script them, so. No. Yeah, and one day you know this will be a live thing. We'll just yeah. do it on YouTube and go live. Yeah, and you know we might do some Q and A's, yeah. stuff like that. So. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys have any topics that you're interested in, let us know. Yeah. Well, consider them. But yeah, and until next time, that is it. Of. Uh, what did I call this? Oh, morning bruise. <laughs> Alright, All right. guys, have a good day. Thank you for watching. Bye.